was a battle on the beach in Margate on Friday night. The Margate Beach Patrol hosting the 71st annual World War II Memorial Lifeguard Races. That's right, the races go all the way back to 1946. And these days, the Margate Memorial serve as a big time tune up ahead of the South Jersey Championships. Three events off of the Decatur Avenue Beach as the action begins with the doubles row. Margate's Chuck Gowdy and Chris Graves, the defending champions in this one. These two, they've been on quite a roll this summer. Let's skip ahead to the finish where Gowdy and Graves are powering their way back to the line. Gowdy and Graves win it for Margate, but a little scary moment here. They lose control of the boat, losing their balance. It flips. Look out. Both guys. They pop up and they would be okay. Graves celebrates five team points for Margate. Next up is the swim. The whistle blows and the guards, they sprint out into the surf. Again, five more team points up for grabs here for the winner. The Margate Memorials using that 5-4-3-2-1 scoring system for the top five finishers. Fast forward to the finish. Brigantine's Brandon McKenzie catches a wave near the shore. McKenzie pops up, sprints to the line to win the swim. It's a tight battle for second. Ocean City's Glenn Lasco has the angle to edge out Joe Patrone from Avalon. Margate's Amber Glenn, she hustles in to grab fourth place and two team points to come with it. But Ocean City leads Margate by one point heading into the final race. So it all comes down to the singles row. This is Eric Wolf from Avalon. Wolf trying to win the singles in this event for the first time since 2013. But Chuck Gowdy continues to dominate this summer. Gowdy winning one big singles race after another. He keeps the streak going here. His first singles win at the Margate Memorials and it clinches the team title for the hometown Margate City Beach Patrol. Ocean City's Shannon Thies does take second in the singles row. So Margate and OC both finishing with 12 team points. Margate wins the tiebreaker, which is always the team with the better finish in the doubles row. Avalon rounds out the top three with six points. Next up, as we said, the biggest lifeguard race of the summer, South Jersey Championships. Defending champion Avalon will host the South Jerseys on Friday night.